All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about the workspace options and Studio 5000, which gives your color to your, your programming software and everything so that you can kind of customize it to the way you would like to see it. Uh, me, I'm more accustomed to seeing this blue, uh, but when it comes down to it, like if I open up my uh, one of my sequential function charts, it's all grayed out. Now, how do I change that? All right, so you just go up to tools, you go up to options, and this is what they call the workspace options right so in workspace options I can change my fonts I can change my font colors right here and go in here and change the headers uh, like if I wanted to change the headers to like uh, let's just say a black color and you can see the headers change right here if I wanted to come in here and change the boxes or like let's say the, the uh, box text or something like that you can change the wire if you wanted to wire a different color you can see that that will actually change the color so you see you can kind of customize it the way you would like to see it um, and get it more you know apt to what you're used to um, again when it comes down to this right here I like to kind of you know just get everything the way I like to see it and again this still to me needs a little bit more work so let's go back in here and change this and as you make a change you can kind of see it live so you can kind of get exactly what you want to see right so this is the S, like sequential function chart window right here. Uh, this would be the whole window. So just keep in mind, um, you know, if I change this, it's going to be the whole window, right? So that's going to, you know, actually show that that whole property. So now everything is that blue color. It's that you know you can see how everything kind of stands out, but maybe you maybe like a deeper color or maybe like a different color as far as that goes. But now everything's more prominent and it kind of stands out you know and kind of gets your attention a little bit better uh, the same thing can be said with like sequential function or with a function block as well so in the function block you can see how kind of kind of, kind of boring it is and kind of not really uh, getting your attention uh, now I've seen a lot of people change this the sequential functions are the the function blocks uh, settings to actually have like uh, different colors that stand out to them that customize you know that, that have helped them not just to to get it more you know back the way it used to be but to actually customize it to what you know kind of fits their needs right and that's really where it boils down to like the wire um, I personally like the blue color uh, that's just what I'm used to uh, when it comes down to it you have your values uh, you can see the values right here uh, if you wanted to have those a different color but in my my case the values would be blue um, it just something I'm used to back from the RS Log, RS Logix 5000 days, um, you know, back in the legacy things that everything this was this color, right? And even then, you can customize it. But customization, when it comes to version, you know, 31 and above, uh, is a little bit different. So we have to be mindful of that. Now the boxes, uh, you come in here and change the box color, um, boundaries. You got your selections, your power flow. Uh, you got your window again this is the window so if i wanted it uh, let's just say a black color this time you can see it kind of stands out and you can kind of see that looking a little bit better right now now if i wanted that whole blue color again i could do that as well but the window again kind of shows how do you want to see it done um and that's that it, it's a little deceiving when it comes down to uh, what that is is if i were to say right here that this window uh, you would think that it would be the whole window, right? The whole back plane, right? But it's actually uh, just the window that's actually being used. So you'll see this, right? If I change it to a blue color, it's just the outline, right? So again, that comes down to understanding what you're changing. But the simple thing to it is go to tools, go to options, click options, and then you have the ability to change everything, all your preferences. Um, there's a lot of tools in here that you can do and change. Uh, just keep in mind I wanted to show you a quick tip on changing the background color of your actual programming software to fit your needs because again when it comes to customization whatever is easiest on our eyes is going to help us think better it's going to help us you know produce uh, you know kind of well health proper health right and when it comes down to it you don't want to have a headache staring at a screen all day or you know it's a simple fact of what's easier to see what's what's less strain on your eyes so uh, when it comes down to it, hopefully that was helpful. And uh, with all that said, we'll see you guys on the next one.